Welcome to N4 Electro Techniques, and this is our very last module, and we'll be looking at measuring instruments. There are three important mechanisms found in measuring instruments. We have the deflecting mechanism, the controlling mechanism, and the damping mechanism. For a single phase circuit, you'll find that the amp meter, which measures current, is in series with the load, and the volt meter, which measures voltage, is in parallel with the load. For the watt meter, we have a current coil in series with the load, and we have a voltage coil in parallel with the load. If we take a single phase motor and connect it up to a single phase circuit, and we have our different measuring instruments across the circuit. If we need to calculate the power factor, the resistance, and the inductive reactance of a single phase motor, if the readings on the instruments are 12 amps, 240 volts, and 1,550 watts, respectively, to calculate the power factor for a single phase circuit, it is the power of 1,550 watts, divided by the voltage of 240 and the current of 12 amps. And we end up with a power factor of 0.538, which is quite low. That's a low power factor, which is not good. To calculate the resistance, we utilize the formula power is equal to I squared times R. So it's the power of 1,550 watts divided by the current of 12 amps squared. And we end up with a resistance of 10,764 ohms. Now, to calculate the uh, inductive reactance, remember this is an AC circuit, not a DC circuit. Uh, so to calculate the volt drop across the inductor, it will be the square root of the supply voltage squared minus the volt drop across the resistor squared. Now, how do we calculate the volt drop across the resistor? Well, it is the resistance in the circuit multiplied by the current in the circuit. It means that the voltage across the resistor is 129,168 volts, and it is the supply voltage of 240 volts squared, less the volt drop across the resistor squared, and it means that the volt drop across the inductor is 202,276 volts. Now that we got the volt drop across the inductor, we can calculate the inductive reactance by saying the volt drop divided by the current in the circuit and therefore the inductive reactance will be 16,856 ohms. In this question, a galvanometer with an internal resistance of 150 ohms gives a full-scale deflection when 15 milliamperes flows through the meter. And we need to calculate the following with suitable circuit diagrams. In A, a shunt resistor to allow the meter to measure current up to 5 amps. And in part B, a series resistor to allow the meter to measure voltage up to 95 volts. Okay, so here's our circuit. In order for our galvanometer to act as an ammeter, we put a resistor in parallel to the meter in order to divide the current. And this prevents all the current passing through the meter. So we have our total current coming through over here before our network, the current passing through the meter, and then we have the shunt current. So the shunt current is equal to I total, minus the current through the meter. Our formula to calculate the value of the shunt resistor, it is the current through the meter multiplied by the resistance of the meter divided by I shunt. Now it is 15 milliamps passing through the meter. So to convert milliamps to amps, it will be 15 divided by 1,000 multiplied by the resistance of the meter. It's 150 ohms. And to calculate I shunt, it is a total current of 5 amps minus the current through the meter of 15 milliamps. And therefore, the value of the shunt resistor is 0.451 ohms. Right, now, in order for our galvanometer to measure voltage, we put a resistor in series with the voltmeter. And this is to divide the voltage. And the formula we use here to calculate the value of the series resistor, it is the supply voltage divided by the current of the meter minus the resistance of the meter. So the total voltage being measured is up to 95 volts. The current through the meter is 15 milliamps, which gives us 0,015. And the resistance 
of the meter is 150 ohms. So therefore, the value of the series resistor is 6,183,33 ohms. Okay, and this final question for measuring instruments, a resistor RX needs to be determined using a Wheatstone bridge. R1 and R2 are connected to the positive terminals of the battery. R3 and R4 are connected to the negative terminals of the battery. With the galvanometer reading zero, what is the value of Rx? Now, here's the diagram of our Wheatstone bridge. R1 is 80 ohms. R2 is 800 ohms. R3 is 500 ohms. And then we don't know what Rx is. We're going to calculate that. Now, to calculate Rx, we're going to be utilizing R4. So we have R1 times R4, which is equal to R2 times R3. Now, if we manipulate this equation to get R4 on its own, R2 multiplied by R3 divided by R1, and that gives us 5,000 ohms for R4. All right, thank you for watching this video for measuring instruments.